On today's stream, I ranked your guys' awful cooking. I put out this tweet asking you guys to send me your awful meals. And you did not disappoint. And although some of you could really cook, most of you really couldn't. I mean, really couldn't. Some of this was inedible. And that made for a hell of a laugh. So if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. I do plenty of tier list streams over on my Twitch and all of them get uploaded to this channel. So if for whatever reason you can't catch those streams live, sub to this channel so you never miss them here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. Full Let's on the stall grind. no I'm longer so glad I discovered you. and open the first dish prepared on this tier list. Chat, you look so pretty, handsome today, and oh, hijack, you look good too, I guess. Thank you. I almost, like, closed everything on my desktop. That was really embarrassing. Welcome to my tier list. Snellish, thank you for the tier one. Months. Thank you for the 26 nice months, one. more specifically. Proud to still be supporting you, Bossman Infold. Thank you. Here is our first dish. Now, if I'm honest, do I know well, what this dish months. is? This pleases the mighty siren. Thank you. Do I know what this is? No, I do not. It looks like a pastry, but then it's oddly slimy. So I'm not sure what it is. Cinnamon buns. Ooh. Ooh, are we for real? I honestly for a second believed that this was some sort of fish. And I would have been like, mm, it looks like nicely dressed in a vinaigrette. You know, it looks like well-cooked fish. I've now learned it's pastry. So my sort of opinion on it has dropped. Why is your pastry sodden wet? I understand adding a little bit of, you know, like, um, you know, a, a, what do you call it? Like a sauce? Like a bit of moisture to your pastry. Pastry should not be dry. It should be moist. But I'm going to argue that this is potentially drowned. This is a, a slightly drowned pastry. Um, yeah, it, you know, like, I, I, I also thought at first, before I thought it was fish. Because I, I was kind of joking about the fish. When I saw it up close, I knew it wasn't fish. But what I did think was that it was, like, garlic dough balls. And, like... It could be kind of good garlic dough balls, you know, in like a, a, a garlic butter. And like the garlic, you know when you put a bit too much garlic butter on garlic dough balls and it melts and it becomes like an oil. And it's like, it's good, but you feel kind of bad because it's really greasy. It looks like that. But now to learn that it is in fact cinnamon. Hey, James. Welcome. Thank you for calling me hot stuff in the uh, chat, James. That made me feel real good. Either way. You want to stream on my Twitch soon? What does that mean? What? Right. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Sorry, wait. We need to... I'm sorry. I'm re I'm, I make no sense. I meant I meant just like, do you want to stream with me sometimes? So I don't know. Oh. It just makes sense. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's I fine. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Sorry. You see, when I saw that, I understood it as... Do you want me to just go live on your no, account no, I, sometime I, I, soon? I'll I do it. Because I, 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 I've been making a lot of those, you know, like she stream on my Twitch till I live in her viewer. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I've been making a lot of those jokes recently. I, I actually, do you want to hear my favorite one? Please. Uh, she grommet on my Wallace till I wrong in my trousers. <laughs> 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 till, <laughs> till I wrong? Till I incorrect? Bro, until I negative? I respect that. Thank you, James Marriott. He already dipped. Wow. Wow. Well, we're right back to the topic at hand. These look shit. Um, let's just, just put them where they, they belong. I'm sure they don't taste awful, but they look way too... Is that is it butter? Like, what is it that is made... What, what is this, like, oil? Is it butter? They look kind of bad. They're a little bit burnt. But, like, yet yeah, somehow also undercooked. Like, it, it, no, they look kind of bad. Syrup? Oh, you think it's syrup? Oh, maybe it is syrup. If it's syrup, I bump it to a, a C. Because it's, it's too much, but, you know. It's too much, but, like, 
It's a little bit more correct, at least. It looks like oil. It does look like oil. That's why I think it's like melted butter. All right, you know what? No, we'll, we'll go in. C I'm going to put it in C because I also have this really strong feeling that it's only going to get worse. Uh, and I think D might be harsh when we when we get to the end of the tier list. Let's go for that. Uh, right, okay, um, let's just... Hold on. There we are. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, okay. Let's bring up... Wow. Okay, let's bring up the next. Um... Guys, Peppa Pig on toast is the uh, topic of the hour. Someone has taken... Uh... Let me actually just find an image of this for you real quick. Oh, Lord! Oh, my goodness! My... Oh, my God. What was that? I just got, like, the worst pain in my leg. Ow. Ow, wait. So, man down. Man down. Hold on. Oh, wait. I gotta do my stretches. Hold on. Like, like, sorry. A guy gotta do his... Guy gotta stretch his loins real... Real fast. Hold on. Oh! Guy's gotta stretch his loins real quick. Oh! Ah! Oh. Sorry about that. Ooh. You know, sorry, but my, you know, my loins, you can't, you can't ignore when the loins are calling. Anyway, let's, come on, let's be professional. Let me find a picture of a uh, pepper pig spaghetti. As you can see, they've used a nice tin of that's the wrong thing. That's also the wrong thing. They've used a nice tin of pepper pig spaghetti uh, with all sorts of different shapes like George. Wait, no. That's, um, pepper, George, Teddy, pepper face, elephant, crown, rabbit. Yo, all the classic pepper characters. Pepper face is fucking horrific, by the way. Horrific. But either way, they have then proceeded to put this, um, as we can see, on toast. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Oh, that's that's the crown. I'm just trying to see if I can identify. That's Teddy. No, okay. So, you can see it is the... Pe they aren't lying about it being Peppa Pig. It is, in fact, Peppa Pig on toast. It looks horrific, though. It, it, they've clearly used brown bread, right? Although, like, admittedly, British people will not fuck with this. But I do not like beans on toast. I do not like beans on toast. I'm just going to put it out there. There's all the people in chat saying A tier, S tier, the most British food. And I'm sorry, I'm British, but I don't respect it. I don't respect it. British cuisine, you know, we have good things. We have the roast. We have the roast dinner. We have the, the full English breakfast. It's, you know, there's the sausage roll. There's some good bits of British cuisine. Baked beans or like, like spaghetti, like tin spaghetti like that. And any of it put on fucking toast is the worst thing we did as a nation. And 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 I don't wish for history nerds to fact check that. Like, it's just the worst fucking thing I can think of the British doing. You know? Like, off the top of my head. It's fucking horrific. Right? This bread looks like it's falling apart from the sogginess. Alright? Like, it looks like it's caved in the middle. It's concaved. Not only that, they've clearly used brown bread... As you can tell by the fact that the bread is brown. But it's like very obviously not that toasted. It's like, the, the, you know those fucking people who like toast their toast and it looks like anemic. Like, you know what I mean? You ever like had someone toast their toast and it comes out the toaster just as white as it went in? Right? Like, you know, I just... I'm not saying burn your toast. I'm not one of those people that burns the toast. But like equally, give it a bit of colour. Give it a tan. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want... I don't want warm bread. I want that toasty crunch. You know? Put cheese on it. And arguably it is a little bit better. But no. This again. I think will have to land itself in C tier. It's a not horrific. It's not a crime. But it looks. It isn't decent scran. It's it's bad scran. Like it's not a hearty meal. I'm, I'm a bit of a food snob by the way. But like th that shit is. That shit ain't good. Don't lie to me. Don't make me think that's good. Um, What else have we got? Ooh. Ooh, we might have we might have our first contender for a decent meal here. 
Let me show you this. Someone has made a homemade pizza. And it looks really good. Wait. Let's be for real for a second. This actually looks good. The crust has that slight charring, but it's not overly burnt. It's well risen. Look like, you know, uh, the cheese well melted. Good selection of toppings. Peppers, um, peppers, mushrooms, and looks to be some sort of like ham, you know? Why is there milk? That's obviously just mozzarella cheese. I think there's onions on there as well. Onions is a good pick for toppings. It looks well cooked. My only complaint is it looks like it maybe could do with a little bit more pasta, like, 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 um, sauce. Pizza sauce. It doesn't look like there's enough sauce. Like, it, it, it looks like it's lacking sauce. It's under the sauce. I remember, remember that TikTok. I like that one. Uh, this is, this goes in A. It isn't, like, you know, it would be S if I could clearly see that there was enough sauce. But I'm, I'm slightly fearful that it's just cheesy bread with toppings and there isn't enough sauce. Uh, and, and, and equally, a good pizza needs a good marinara sauce. Like, you need a good marinara sauce to really, like, the, the, the key to pizza, like, right. As a man who's tried the best pizza in the world and even been on the filming for a whole dedicated YouTube short to flying to Italy just to eat the best pizza in the world, the pizza, the best pizza in the world, I, I, so I went, I, I don't know if any of you know this. My friend Jago, um, he has a YouTube channel called Jago that you should go subscribe to. Uh, and in it, in fact, you know what? Let's just watch the short for those of you who haven't seen it. Some of you may not have seen this. Um, we flew all the way to Italy just to try what is supposedly the world's best pizza. And this is, this is our journey. This is what happened. This is the wrong one. Go on this one. You guys fly to Italy right now to try the world's best pizza. Well, like, right now? Yeah, right now. We need to go. We are running so late. We were very late. We, the, the, the train door almost closed on us. We, like, hopped through last minute. <laughs> what? We made it. <laughs> Can I get a ha yeah on the plane? Hiya. In Italy. When the morning <laughs> Is this pizza gonna change my life? It's starting to rain quite bad, but the pizza. This was a good trip. It. That's a bit of a cue, but we're here. Pizza time. We've waited three hours. We're in. We're here for a day for this. You, by the way, we did literally wait three hours. You, you get a ticket, and uh, they basically call you in when there's seating available because it's so popular. But it's like a tiny little hole in the wall restaurant. Like it's not very big. That'd be the best pizza in the world. They've already brought the pizza. Oh, but look, does that look like the best pizza in the world? No, it does not. Was it the best pizza in the world? Not in my opinion. But Jago argued that Jago's had it twice. And he said that this time it just they just didn't make it up to scratch. And everyone's saying the cheese didn't look great. The cheese let it down. However, we had two pizzas. You don't see it in the video, but off camera we tried two pizzas. This one was good. It, it's a good pizza. I'm, it's a good pizza. It's absolutely fine. The cheese that day was just not great. And, like, it let that pizza down. However, we had another pizza. We had the margarita. They, they do three types of pizza there. And we ordered two of them. The margarita, which was that one. But they also did the marinara, which is literally just pizza bread, sauce, and herbs. Right? That's it. And the sauce was so good. I would argue with a few, a few toppings. Keep it light. Don't overcomplicate the dish. That would have been the best pizza in the world. Oh, I would put cheese on it, but not that cheese. That cheese kind of sucked that day. It was watery. It was it was mozzarella. It was too watery. But the sauce. The sauce! Oh, my God! The sauce. The sauce was incredible. And I'm telling you now, going back to this pizza here. This pizza here. A good pizza is made by the freshness of its, of its ingredients, as Papa John once famously said. Before he said all those other things we don't quite agree with. A good bread base. As long Cheese is honestly the easiest part to get right. That's why I was a bit pissed off that they got it wrong. And the sauce. The sauce. A good marinara sauce will make the best pizza. However, 
Sadly, I cannot see that there's a good marinara sauce on this pizza. But I'm going to have faith because it looks quite good. It looks like it was well made. So I'm going to put it in A tier. But that's as high as I can go without seeing the sauce. But maybe it was good. Again, barbecue base is better. Ban that person from my chat. Infidel. Ban them from the chat. Ban them from the chat. Don't let him bully you, chat. I've never seen Jack cook anything. I've cooked. I had a week off recently, and I cooked, like, three delicious meals. I made a great steak. I made a pasta dish. I, I cooked my dad's famous roast Mediterranean vegetables pasta. It was amazing. And, I don't know, I did something else. I don't really remember. Either way. Barbecue pizza. Barbecue-based pizza sucks, bro. I Barbecue sauce is too sweet. It works for a, a couple of things. You can get barbecue chicken. That's okay. But barbecue sauce-based pizza... Oh my god, you you eat sweeties for breakfast, bro. You open a pack of Haribo's for breakfast if you like barbecue sauce, p pizza. What pisses me off. Whatever. They're going in A tier. Do not bring up this barbecue sauce debate. Barbecue sauce based pizza is one step away from chocolate based pizza, and I'd honestly say chocolate is better. Now, at this, on the surface, this actually looks all right. Salmon looks well cooked. The vegetables look fine, albeit the broccoli looks slightly like it's been overboiled, but whatever. Guys. People, someone said white people food. It's a very, like, it, it looks like a British dish, all right? It's English, but I'm an English guy, and you know what? Steamed, boiled vegetables... They can be fine. They, they can be fine. All right? It's all right. It's a fine plate. However. However. Where the fuck is the sauce? I feel like a broken record here. Where the fuck is the sauce? We're in this same spot again. Where's the sauce? Where's the seasoning? The sauce will do the flavoring. Need some fucking sauce in that shit. Sure, that shit is going to be dry as hell. That's going to be dry. Where's the sauce for the dry chicken? What are you on about? That is pink. Where, you think that's chicken? We need to have a pause for a second because we need to move away from this dish and speak to the chatter who just said, where's the sauce for the chicken? That is salmon, my friend. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? If you, if you eat chicken that looks like that, they need to study you for science because most people would have died by now. That's not okay. That is a salmon. And some people are saying sauce for salmon. May, may I introduce you to white sauce? Now, do I know what white sauce is? No, I'm going to Google it. What is white sauce? Like, what is it? It's flour, butter, and milk. But I tell you, my nan used to do like a roast vegetable dinner with salmon because she didn't used to eat meat. So usually a British roast dinner, right? You'd have chicken... Or pork, you know, sometimes beef. We were always a pork or chicken family. Roast vegetables, gravy, Yorkshire pudding. Jobs are good. In. However, my grandma didn't used to eat meat. She only ate fish. So she would do the same thing, minus the Yorkshire pudding. But she'd do a white sauce. This white sauce is not Alfredo. It is, it is a white sauce. is flour, butter, and milk. Right? It goes, you put a little bit of seasoning in there. A little bit of seasoning. goes quite well. Mixes very well with salmon. I always used to think. Therefore, I'd say to stop this meal from being fucking completely dry, then it needs to, like, it needs some sauce. Someone said, where's the seasoning? It looks like they've at least applied pepper to this salmon, by the way. Which is better than nothing. So also... As an Egyptian, I am terrified of this white sauce. It's not cum. The sauce has not cum. Sauce with vegetables? I don't think so. You put gravy on vegetables. White sauce is just like like white gravy. It's it, like it's just fish gravy in my head. However, can I be honest? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. You got to bear in mind what we are probably going to be comparing this to, you know, like later down the line. So uh, I'd say this is still A tier. Not perfect. Needs some sauce. But like, honestly, 
it, it looks an edible, decent meal that I would probably enjoy. And that puts it in A. Because at the end of the day, everything in C, I'd rather not eat. But, like, I understand that it is mostly edible. Like, some people might enjoy that. It ain't for me. B is, I'd probably kind of enjoy it, but, you know, it's like, yeah. A is like, I'd eat that, but, it, you know. And the S is like, gourmet, you know, like, fucking Gordon Ramsay tier. And F is like, fucking charred, like, mess. Order something like some evil concoction, which I'm sure we're going to get a few of. For example, um, great timing because someone has submitted this. Not a pot of sauce, no. Chicken, maybe? Chicken, maybe. This may be an attempt at fried chicken. However... It could, if you squint your eyes, also be rocks covered in sand from a day at the beach. So, I'm not particularly sure. Glitter glue. It could also just be rocks covered in glitter glue. It. Why is it grey? I don't know. It's as if they like made it. It. It looks like they like made. They started making fried chicken, put it in the deep fry, and went, ah, and pulled it out immediately. Like, they didn't let that shit fry at all. So it's like some, a little bit of fry, and mostly still just breadcrumbs. It honestly looks like, like, my mouth would be so dry afterwards. I would have, I would be, I'd be like, <gasps> what? You know, you know that bit of SpongeBob where he sat across in the water all shriveled up? This is the type of shit he ate beforehand. Fried chicken with honey? Yeah, but it... it the even the honey looks like mucus, bro. That was like oil you'd put in an engine, right? And this is our first D tier dish, I think. It is an F tier because I can't necessarily prove that it's gross because I can't fully identify what the food should be to compare it to the correct version because I think it might be chicken, but I don't know. However, it is worse than the beans on toast or the cinnamon buns because I can tell what they are and they don't look awful. This looks pretty bad. Uh, this is going in D tier. That looks... That doesn't look great. It might be baked. It looks bad. I would not be eating that. Unless... I, I, I need someone to tear that open to prove to me it was cooked inside. You know what I mean? Like, that's that kind of chicken. Kind of chicken you don't trust. Alright, you know, let's just address this. Let's just address this. I don't know if you guys saw my going live tweet. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have done. If not, Jack Manifold TV on Twitter. What are you doing? Someone sent this. Someone submitted this. Which I believe is uh, milk with uh, hot dogs in it. But not just hot dogs. Like the worst fucking wrinkly old man hot dogs I've ever seen. A fine cocktail. Is that... Is that... Is that the fucking joke? Cocktail... Is that the joke? Do you think this is a joke here? Because they're like cocktail sausages? Is that the joke? Cocktail? Is that the... They look like they're, they're shriveled up. Like they look like they've been out of their brine. I mean, like, like, like this one's cracking, right? As a fucking hot dog floating in milk. This is the cum juice. This is cum and wieners. That's what I call this, cum and wieners. Cum and, cum and the, and the, pe and penis, penis cum. Penis, penis, uh, penis cum. It's raw. You can eat hot dog. You can eat those little wieners. You can eat them raw. I learned. You can eat hot dogs raw. You don't need to cook those. I would, personally, for, you know, for self-love, but you don't have to. I learned. You don't have to. Your username is just Jizzin. You're welcome, less than three. Thank you, just Jizzin. Did by chance you make this fucking concoction? I hope you didn't, because I'm putting it in F. I wouldn't eat, like, you'd actually. So I think foods that go in F Ten are months. foods that I would Hello, need compensation to consume. Well. Th thank you, I appreciate that. You do one. I would need compensation to consume this food. Like, this is like a Bush took a trial from I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, which I'll be on this year. Um, I'm saying it now. I can't promise that, but I hope so. You know, um, I'm just saying, like, this, I would need, like, I would need, like, a hefty payout, or I'd have to, it'd have to be, like, some crazy dare or something. Like, that's the only way I'm consuming that. The chicken, if a good friend of mine had made it and was proud of it, I'd give it a taste. 
like, despite the fact that I think it's going to be bad, I'd be like, make sure it's cooked, and then I'd taste it. These, I, I honestly would... I probably wouldn't taste the beans on toast, but only because I've tried them before and don't like them. Like, I, I'm aware, you, you know. But, like, yeah, no, the... No, I'm... You, you, you have demons. What, what came to you to make you want to make this? You know, everyone else here tried to follow at least something pre-existing or like a recipe or something. You just made this off your own back. That's what really upsets me. No, no one came. This isn't a recipe. I still think the, the white sauce is cum. This is the white sauce. What do you think? This is the white sauce. We can pour this onto the salmon and then it'll be good. This is the white sauce. This is what I'm talking about. I'm joking. Um, yeah, no, I just... I'm really concerned for the mental health of the individual that created this because they made this... This is an original thought from someone. Someone had this original thought before it was made and we need to study that person and make sure they're okay. So yeah, that, that, either way, uh, yeah, it goes in F. Very solidly in F. Sorry, but like I'm also not sorry in the slightest. Um, please seek help. Either way, guys... It's been a great start. It's been a great start. We've had no S tier dishes, but we've had a couple of A tier ones. You know, mostly bad food, but I expected that. The fact that we've had, you know, almost 50% good is good. However, guys, I don't have long to do this because it's the top of the hour. And by that, I mean it's the top of the half an hour. It's been half an hour and I need to run the ad now because Twitch's auto manager is forcing me to. That's right. We won't run another one for another hour. This is essentially just the top of the hour ad. It's just running half an hour early. It also runs in 10 seconds. So I would do your prime now because I forgot to mention it and I have no snoozers left to push this off for five minutes. Guys, you have five seconds, 4 dollars You can avoid all the ads for the next 30 days. Well, too late. The ad's starting soon. Either way, thanks to everyone who has subbed, who has managed to avoid the uh, ads this thus far. Uh, Scar Station, you actually managed to avoid it. The ad is now running. For oh, it's only a 30 second ad. Huh. It's only a 30 second ad today. Well, you know, I guess that's what you get when it runs half an hour early. Half an hour, you know, half as, half as quick ad. Never mind. Well, you know, that's good. That's good. 30 seconds, 30 minutes. That's fine. That's fine. The ad's almost nearly over. Well, welcome back from the ads, everybody. That was a short one. It turns out, because because it was 30 minutes, it also only played a 30 minute, a 30 second long ad. So, you know, we don't have to do that for another hour, and it's only 30 seconds of your time. Thank you so much. Also, thank you to uh, uh, Sky, who gifted uh, a sub. You didn't have to do that. The ad was already playing. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who subbed so far. Like Magical Waffle at the tier one. It really does mean a lot. Seriously. You guys supporting the stream really makes, makes my day. So thank you so much. Either way, let's get straight back to uh, reviewing these piece of shit meals. Your pieces of shit, and I'm reviewing your meals. Either Hi, way. Jack Smiley Face. Hi! So insanely hyper fixated on you, and you've gotten me into my analog horror enjoyment. I'm not laughing at that. I'm really glad that happened. I'm laughing at the next food. 19 months, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I like that. That was a really good way of that, that coming out. Either way. Guys! I don't quite know what to say. It's been a year, Jack. This is the longest I've ever been a part of anything. Yes, I'm afraid of commitment, yes. Hey, I'm glad you committed this far. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the year. Really appreciate it. Epi, thank you for the gift of sub as well. So, someone has managed to make usually rather moist foods very, very dry. Someone has made... Someone took ed, egg noodles to the next level. They took egg noodles very literally. I don't think they realize that noodles are made with egg. And I think they've somehow decided that, um... Well, they've decided that, um, the noodles needed more egg. And not only that, the world's most overboiled eggs ever. They have boiled those eggs to almost a powder. Those aren't runny yolks. Now, I... Look. I sometimes add an egg to my ramen. When I make, like, noodles, I sometimes throw an egg in there. The trick is to make it... Not runny, not liquid yolk, but not completely solid. You want a gooey yolk for ramen, you know? That's normal. However, you uh, uh, appear to have just boiled this so fucking much that it's gone completely hard. It almost looks plastic. These eggs don't quite look real. There's also... So, the noodles, or, or maybe the, 
the pasta. I can't quite tell. Don't also appear to have any oil, sauce, flavoring to them whatsoever. They seem to be completely plain. It appears you've just taken a sort of carb-based product made with eggs, added more eggs, and went, that'll do. And you've done it completely dry, which looks awful. Really, really bad. This, honestly, I'm going to say it. This is an F-tier meal. That shit looks so horrifically dry. That looks like, like, it should be D because at least it's edible. But, like, I just don't understand how you fucked up something so basic. Like, making, a, like, ramen, like, cooking pack ramen is something everybody can do. It's the student meal. It's the easy one. And putting a boiled egg in it is the easy man, like, it's the easy way of adding a bit of flair. You know what I mean? You you try to make the easy meal and do the easy flair for it, and you fucked it up. This looks... Someone put it in chat, and I agree. It looks like a chore to eat. I enjoy eating. This looks like it would make me hate it. Guys, that is an F-tier food. I can't believe I really like noodles, and I really like eggs, and I can't believe you've made me hate that. You've taken two of my favorite things and made it look horrific. Boo. Just found out that I got into the university I wanted to go to. Yo, and congrats. The stream is making my day even better. I'm glad. I really am. Where is the arcade vlog, Jack? Where is it? Jay, keep on slaying King. Don't let them hair follicles fall. Hey, they never will. I will, however, get a haircut soon. My hair is way too long. Also, that vlog may come... It's the BBL, Soon. British Bald Lad. Oh! I thought you meant Brazilian butt lift. I haven't had one of those. It just looks like that. Either way, thank you. Guys. This this is a... Um, I'm going to stop. I need to find appropriate music for this. I need to find appropriate music for this. Um. Yeah, okay. Guys. Please prepare yourself for this dish. I don't know what it is. I believe it might be an attempt at meatballs. But it is, that is my only guess. And it really doesn't look like meatballs. You're going to see it and think, how could this be meatballs? But trust me, I've had a few seconds with this. I don't think it could be anything else. You were saved by the fact that it isn't showing my screen yet. We're going to have another countdown. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> What is the liquid it sits in? Why is the bottom layer of the liquid burned? It looks as if they've done the... What, what's that? They've put it through a meat grinder and then balled it up. Somehow they've done a shit job of that. As if they didn't have the strength in their hands to ball the meat. Which is, you know... You know, I, I, look. I don't like to judge people, but that's crazy. There's no... Uh, I, what? Surely there was an attempt at sauce that can't just be meat juice. But I can't tell what sauce it should be. Why is this bit... Why has that become hard? This looks horrific. This looks like it, you would have to crunch through it. You would have to crunch through these meatballs. I'm being so for real. Prison food? I think prisoners... I think if I was a prisoner and I was presented this, I I would rather starve. I honestly think prisoners eat better than this. Prisoners look at this and this is what they fear. This is what they threaten prisoners with. You know how like once you're in jail, like what can they do? They can just send you to more jail. You're already there. You know, like this is what they threaten you with. This is horrific. Everyone is pointing out 
that this is from somewhere. It's Kay's cooking. What is this? Well, okay. It appears I need, it appears I need to do some googling. Hold on. Kay's cooking. All right. Oh, okay. Kay's cooking. Oh! Yes, a different spaghetti bolognese. I do know Kay's cooking. Right, so... Kay, where's this episode then? Near enough moussaka. English breakfast. Chicken teriyaki. Eggs benedict. Where? Where is... So where is oh, Kay's cooking, making meatballs, a fry up, pasta and cucumber. What the fuck is that? How is all her food like, how is almost all the food that shouldn't be gray, gray? That's gray. That's gray. The chicken's gray. The sausages are a bit gray. That's fucking grey. I don't even know what that is. Chocolate mousse. That's just... She's just... That's just... A, that, she's just grinning there. Where's meatballs? Kay's cooking meatballs. Oh. Hi, people. And today, I'm back cooking again. And today... What are you laughing about? Okay, so she's put the pan. Oh, she's putting them in eggs. Okay. She's putting them in I'm eggs. I'm going to put these in the oven for 10 minutes. They're not even cooked fully at this point. This is 10 minutes in. Someone sent me the unfinished product. That section is labeled taste test. Please tell me she didn't. She didn't eat this hard beef. This hard eggy beef. It's just come out. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put three on just for the end product. What do you mean you're gonna put three on? Those aren't three discernible products. It's all just a mush. It's all but this is the end. These are the meatballs. You don't need to have chips for them. But this is the end product of how to make meatballs. She didn't taste them. Thank fuck she did not eat them. Oh my god. All right, Kay, you've charmed me. That's the one thing she's got going for her. She charmed me because I've seen her before. She gets to go in D tier, but not for the edibility, just because I like her. That's it. That is fucking vile. It's made me feel a little bit sick. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like, like a touch ill. I really wasn't expecting that from today's stream because I've got quite a, like, a hardy stomach. But, um... You know what? Hold on. This is what we need right now. This is what we need right now. This is what we need right now. What do we think of ham and cheese toasty? Because personally, and now I might be skewed by the fact that the last thing we looked at was a literal inedible fucking mess. That actually looks really good. The, the bread is perfectly toasted. This is what I'm talking about. A nice bit of toasting, but not overly burnt, but not anemic either. That's perfectly good toasted bread. A little bit of salad goes a long way. I must admit, odd that you didn't put the salad in the toasty and, and instead just garnished your toasty, which is weird. Also, someone said, why is it uncut? True, I would have cut it into triangles, by the way. Um, I'm not particularly picky, but triangles are better. Um, hmm. Yeah, being on top of the lettuce is weird. Like it, it, it looks like a well-made ham and cheese toasty. Like, it, it's well toasted. The, the cheese looks to be melted. The ham looks fine. Uh, I also like that they've put a bit of pepper on it, so it is lightly seasoned, which is good. Yeah, I, I don't really quite understand, though. Oh, God, sorry. I'm very tired. I don't quite understand the... Uh, 
the bed of lettuce that this sits on. As if like it's a salad to eat afterwards. I just, I'm just really lost as to like why, why it's been made this way. And also, like, let's let, let, let's 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 bear this in mind. This is really easy to make. The last two things we put in A are actually like relatively complicated. There's there's steps along the way. There's like a few steps along the way where it could go wrong. You just put some shit and some bread and then toast it. It isn't rocket science. Like, the presentation adds points. The presentation is is actually very appealing. But the more I kind of analyze it the more I find it weird that it's just sat on a bed of lettuce. So I think it goes in B. It looks good, though. It's it's like a harsh B. Like, I, I realize me putting it in B is harsh. It could go in A, but it isn't on par with these. But like, equally, I feel like the rest do it. I feel like we haven't had anything else in B yet, but I feel like by the time B gets a bit more full, this is going to be the best thing in B. You know? So they can price it up. True, it's just a fucking scam. No one's going to eat the slightly warm lettuce that bread is just laid on. You make a good point. No way you put that below the nasty no sauce salmon. The salmon still looks fine. If, if the salmon's well cooked and you wrapped it correctly so it keeps all its fish oils inside, it'll be a perfectly moist and edible bit of fish. You don't need sauce necessarily, but like you should. You know? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Not the no-sauce salmon. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. You wrap the salmon. You can keep all the oils inside of it. I know my thing. I know a thing or two. All right. Back back to absolute, complete, utter sh Jeez. This uh, frisbee, in fact, wasn't once a thing for dogs to play with, but was, in fact, from the looks of things, supposed to be a pizza. However, someone fucked up so badly that they took this, what is clearly an oven pizza, by the way. This isn't even an attempt at a homemade pizza. There's two reasons I can tell. One, if you went to the effort of cooking, put, picking your ingredients, buying all the stuff, making the dough, making all the pizza... You wouldn't be so neglectful as to forget it in the oven. So I know it's fucking just like a pre-made oven pizza. All you have to do is heat the oven, put that shit in, and wait. And you fucked it up. And now, and I mean this, that is the least edible thing on this list. I Like, this would hurt to eat. I could drink the hot dog milk, and it wouldn't leave me in pain, albeit grossed out. I could eat that. And I, I, with a, I could eat the noodle, the egg noodles, albeit with a bit of water. The, the K's meatballs admittedly might be on par, but it's K, so she's getting a pass. This is an F tier food. You fucking lazy fucker. Just go to your oven and open the door, please. Just slightly burn. This is my, this is literally mum, mum when she make a pizza at home. Sorry, it's just slightly burnt. This is mothers when they give you pizza and they apologize and go, sorry, it's just a little bit burnt. And I hope you don't mind. Anyone else's mum do that? My mum used to do that. The pizza would be a little bit burnt. She'd be like, oh, it's just a little bit burnt. I hope you don't mind. And it would look like this. This is every British mother's attempt at making an oven pizza because they have busy lives and they forget things. It's only slightly burnt. It's just as good as Domino's. You know, sometimes Domino's burn it ever so slightly. You get a little bit of burnt crust from Domino's. You're right, Karen! But it isn't a discus! They threw this shit in the first Olympics! Get a grip! My god. Fucking... I don't know who was in the first Olympics. Was Theseus there? It was in Greece. Theseus threw that stick. I mean, that shit. Sorry, I said stick because of what well, you're about. To... Penis butter. Penis butter. Butter that looks like a penis. Penis butter. Penis butter. Penis butter. Butter penis. Butter penis. Butter, butter pe penis butter. Butter, butter penis. Penis in the butt. Penis in your, in your butt. Butt in your, butt in your penis. Penis. Pe penis. 
But a penis. But a but a penis. But a penis. Our first S dish of the evening. Butter that looks like a penis. Yay! I don't care if this is disrespectful to like plenty of the decent meals. I don't give a fuck. This pe this person made butter look like a penis. I turned myself into a penis, Morty. I'm but I'm I turned myself into a butter, Morty. I'm but a penis. It's funny. Because the penis looks like I mean the but I mean, fuck. <laughs> because the butter looks like a penis. I'm sure that's gonna melt down into something that you can cook really well. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure when that's melted down, that's gonna be a great beginning of some dish. Someone just sent a tongue emoji. Great. Thank you guys. All right. Someone just sent a picture of Andrew Tate's head on a duck. I'm just really curious as to what that might mean. We're not going to rank that. Oh, hell no. I'm going to leave the caption in this one as well. Just because I feel like everyone needs to see this. This person has like this person has labeled themselves a culinary mastermind as they have filled up a raw mushroom with maybe ketchup maybe some sort of jam who fucking knows This is an uncooked mushroom it's completely raw they've pulled the stem out and they've filled it with some condiment. I thought it was camembert cheese. Camembert cheese doesn't have like this like little fungal bit inside. That's a mushroom. And I don't know what... Sans Undertale. I get it. Because it he likes ketchup. Except for I genuinely think that this is jam. And I don't know whether that's better or worse. I do kind of fuck with the fact that they like, they're that confident in this dish though. They just like captioned it culinary mastermind. And it's like, they didn't explain what they did to make themselves a genius. They just knew that this dish sold itself. They just, they're like, look at this thing. You know, a genius made this. You know, a genius made this. I'm, I love mushrooms. This sucks. However, I do respect their moxie. I respect their ability to like, you know, like, I really do respect their ability to, um, like, have a go, you know? I respect their ability to, you know, have tried something, albeit peculiar. They tried something new. No one has ever tried this before. Ever. And unlike hot dogs and milk, which just looks vile... You know, you know what it is? Hot dogs and milk feels ironic. This person feels like they did, did this seriously. And they, they really wanted to try. And you know what? I'm just like... There's something about that color in your mastermind that just can't... I just can't put them in F with the burnt pizza and the hot dogs. It sucks. But like if Kay can get in there for charm with her fucking awful meatballs, then so can mushroom filled with jam. And who knows? Maybe it's good. Maybe they're right. You know what? Exactly. They're just a fun guy. And you know what? I'm a guy who loves a bit of fun and whimsy. And for that reason, I'm putting them in D tier. I really am. When you're an artist, everything is an empty canvas. That is what I am saying, my brother. That is what I am saying. Absolutely, that is what I'm saying. Lame joke, man. I stole it from chat, so that makes it even lamer. It's the best part. It wasn't even an original Jack Manifold joke. This looks alright. This looks decent. Prawns look perfectly well cooked. Spinach. Not a bad thing to add to pasta. Some sort of like creamy cream-based sauce looks fine. 
Spaghetti looks cooked. Someone said too moist. Maybe. Maybe. I can see that. I can see that. But it's all right. It looks okay. You know? It's not... It, I don't think it's... I'm like... I'm, I'm leaning on B. I think these... Even though this one could do... But, but the thing is, I... With the salmon, like, I do have a valid complaint of, like, it looks dry. But, like, also, like, I just feel like more effort went into it. It just looks a little bit more appealing. It's plated up a bit nicer. I know. I just... This feels like a B. If that's an... Like, these, these two are, like, rivals, but this one just has an edge. You know? Also, that prawn... You know how I said it looks well cooked? This prawn's lacking a little bit of color here, I feel like. Prawn, prawns should be pink. Prawn, prawns, before you cook them, are gray. And there's a little bit of, like, gray here. You know what I mean? Same here, actually. I've noticed the color of the prawns is just a little bit, like... Did I say prawns? It's like... I don't know. I didn't mean to say pawns. It's not chess. I'm just re I've gone really tired. I went out for some food. And I think I put myself in like a food coma. I'm getting real sleepy. I'm getting like a real, becoming a real tired boy. Low B, high C. Mm, uh, it'd B then. It deserves a B. The food in C looks pretty bad. And that looks, I'd eat that. Someone made me that. I go, oh, thank you. And I'd eat it. And I'd have no complaints. And I'd probably enjoy it. He's so EP. I'm, I'm for real EP. I'm EP. I'm like an album, but shorter right now because I'm EP. That's all I can say. It's a joke for you music guys out there. It's funny because there's a Barbie head in it. Everyone's saying S for slay. Image from Google. It definitely is an image from Google. But. And here's the thing. I'm going to be for real now. And actually rate this. Take the Barbie head away. Funny joke. Great. Whatever. That chicken actually looks pretty well cooked. It's got a little bit of, like, charring on it, but that's fine. A little bit of charring's fine. Like, maybe the wings are a touch burnt, but the gen the, the legs look well done. There, there seems to be, like, some oil and juice remaining in the pan, so you'd imagine it's actually quite juicy chicken. It doesn't... Like, I'm just guessing if the juice hasn't dried up here, then it probably hasn't dried up in the meat, meaning that it's probably not dry chicken, which is good. They're a touch burnt. It's a little bit but Would be so dry? I don't think so. I think if there's still oil kind of sat in the bottom of the dish, there's probably still oil moistening the meat. I'ma be real. I, uh, do you not agree? Do the chat at large not agree? Also, it's making me laugh. Because they put Barbie's head on it. I'm like, ha! Ah, that shouldn't be there. D -d Gosh, they're funny. You know? Which also, you know, helps. Now, if it's char, no moisture got in. I don't agree. I've had chicken with a bit of charring on the skin. You can char the skin a bit and still have, like, juicy meat within. Has seasoning? You can imagine the charring is the seasoning. That's usually the case. Usually in seasoning things, the seasoning then chars, and that's what the charring is. I'm just saying. Looks tasteless. I don't think it looks bad at all. You know what? I'm going to do it. Everyone said S for slay. And I wasn't going to do it. But then, you know what? I've analyzed the chicken. It actually looks a well-cut chicken, which is hard to do. Most people get chicken dry. And not only that, it is a little bit burnt. But it's made up for by the, the, the funny Barbie. So, um, it won. Congratulations, chicken man. You did it. S tier. S tier.
There are some dishes in this fucking thing that I, I unironically fear for the people that make. What the fuck is this? Why is are your noodles blue? Jesse, why are you blue? Why is it blue? Why have you got slurp juice noodles? Hatsune Miku noodles. It's not Sonic Curry. That Sonic Curry was blue. Apparently it's good though. Wait, is it actually Hatsune Miku ramen? Is that real? Wait, everyone's like saying it, is it like with conviction as if it exists. Hatsune Miku ramen. Oh, it's real. It's real. The Hatsune Miku ramen exists. Why are the ads running every half an hour? Wait, no, that's not how I set this up. No, 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 stop trying to run ads. Ah, stop, snooze. Trying to run ads, don't worry, I'm saving you viewers. Cool. I saved you viewers. I saved you. No more ads now. For five minutes? Why is it making me run the ad now? I changed it. I hate this ad feature so much. Like they, they turn around and they were like, you get a bit more money. And I was like, oh, I was running ads anyway. Great. But ever since I let them take control of the ads, it runs at the worst times. And like, and I have no physical control. Like I figured it would run automatically unless I said, please don't. Not a thing. It just runs. So uh, now we've got five minutes. So great. Let's look at this Hatsune Miku ramen. Okay. So apparently Miku ramen exists and it's in iconic blue broth. Meaning that, okay, so it might not taste that bad because apparently it's a thing. So, okay. Th my only concern is they have thrown a whole hot dog in there, which again, it might not be that bad. It's like a, it's like a student meal. Like it looks like a weird student meal. Like it, initially you go, Ugh! but when you analyze it, you're like, oh wait, if it's Miku ramen, then it probably actually tastes fine. I, it probably tastes good. Like, as much as it's blue and weird looking, apparently the Sonic curry is really good. So, like, you know, admittedly, you should have cut up the hot dog, my guy. Cut up the hot dog into into chunks. And then I'd be like, at least that's bearable. The, just the full fucking glizzy dropped in there. That's crazy, man. Either way. It sucks. But is it as bad as anything in D tier? No, it is not. It... It is C. The jump in quality, by the way, from C to B is 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 phenomenal. But I think it's a C tier food. Like someone said, D for depression meal, but I don't think it's quite that bad. I think it's C for college student. You know, it's it's poor man's food. It it it's it's pack ramen and a hot dog. All right, you know, it's it's that it's that fucking you know, make it last to the end of the week type meal, and. I can't be mad at that. It probably, it, it's a struggle meal and it probably tastes okay. It probably isn't great, to be honest, but it's it's edible, which none of the things below C I'm convinced are. You know, that you could eat and you know what? Yeah, it probably sucks, but fine. Fine, if it's Gatorade, if it's Gatorade, that's a different thing. But let's just assume it's some Miku broth. Uh, it's that Hatsune Miku broth. It's that funny, funny, you know, marketing. And then and then all of a sudden, it's it's a bit more, like, palatable. Either way, people, that is green. That's blue. Either way, um, guys, people. People, people, people. I hate to be this guy. I hate to be him. Why did it have to be him? I don't know. I really don't. But I do know. Is that despite the fact that it had to be him, it now has to be. The top of the hour, guys, it is the top of the real hour. And for some reason, despite the fact that the ad ran half an hour ago, it is forcing me to run another one. I really wish it wasn't. I have no say in this. I'm out of snooze button snoozers. I have a snooze button. It only lets me delay the ad by five minutes and I've delayed it as much as I can.
This ad's going to run for an hour, but then there will truly be no more ads for another hour. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I apologize. I have no say in this. I really would just not run it if I could, but I opted out of the program today because it's been pissing me off so bad, and it takes four hours to opt out. I literally wish I could, like, turn these off right now, but I got to wait four hours until I can. There's nothing I can do. Either way, thank you to Red Sinity, Turtle Wolf with Gifted Sub, and Led983 for the 11 months. Thank you to everyone who's subbed so far throughout the stream, by the way. I really do appreciate it. And only 11 subs time, we will have hit the sex number. So I do really appreciate it. If anyone could find it in their hearts to help us hit the sex number with only 11 more subs, I'd greatly appreciate it. And remember that you get to skip all the ads that will run on this stream, just like this, for the next 30 days. And you may even be able to do that for free by clicking subscribe right now, which I encourage every single viewer to do. Well, and checking whether you months. have the prime option. That's like 16 months, but like more. Just like Pineapple like Sophia, who said for 17 months. And I thank them for that. Either way, just give it a check. The ad's going to run for one minute. If you can't afford the sub, if you don't have a prime, it's fine. It's one minute of your time. It greatly uh, supports you. me. I appreciate you a lot for doing it. And we'll be right back with reviewing more meals afterwards. The ad's going to run now. I will see you all in just a second. Leah B, thank you for the uh, tier one. The ads are now running. Hello, subs. How are you? Nothing ruins my appetite. My bad, cannoli, cannoli. I hope your appetite wasn't ruined by blue noodle Miku sausage. Catastrophe Vogs, thank you for the tier one. Four months, yippee. Gotta say, the worst dish I've made is my attempt at homemade ice cream. It was literally like a cinder block when it came out of the freezer. How? How do you fuck up ice cream that bad? You Ted and Schlatt did it well enough, man. and they were doing it with, like, fucking hot sauce and shit. Thank you for making me your favorite bald man. I'm not very bald at the minute, though. I need a haircut. I'm gonna go get that done, like, Thursday, I think. Hey, Jack. I'm on my epic 21-month sub. I hope Thank you. you're having a great day and keep up the I am. Work. I'm very tired, though. I'm, Your I'm getting very, very really tired. Your content has really helped me on my worst days, and I just wanted to Thank say you so much. thank you, smiley face. You're more than welcome. That really means a lot. Thank you so much. And welcome back from the ads, everybody. I hope you're all doing Jack well. Manifold. Thank you for watching them. Can really appreciate it. I am an amazing cook. Just not going to show you. Oh. Thanks well, for 13 months. Yeah, that's months. fair. I'm a harsh Have critic. Have a good day, man. I will. I will. Thank you so much. 14 Sir months Leon, Thunder 14 1408. Months. Thunder 1408, that's me. I'm him. Alright. Let's pick another food. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I like this. Someone has made, like, a homemade attempt of the classic British biscuit that's... That's just the, uh, that was just the Miku ramen again. And that was the Miku Ram again. How does this keep happening? One more time. There we are. Someone has made a classic, the, the attempt, a classic British biscuit. The Jammy Dodger. Now, the Jammy Dodger is a good biscuit. Jammy Dodgers are good. Strawberry jam in the middle. Nice shortbread. It's good. I love a Jammy Dodger. And honestly, decent powder. Like, powdered sugar looks nice. They all look very evenly baked, well baked, nothing's burnt, the jam looks... They look really good, they look like a perfect attempt at Jammy Dodgers. Like, perfect attempt. I can't bake that well. I can cook! I'm actually not a bad cook. Genuinely not a bad cook. Really shit at baking. Like, I, I don't know what it is, I always fuck up baking. I... I think I've told this story on the stream before, but I asked my girlfriend to be my girlfriend uh, by make, making her pancakes. Uh, and uh, I will show you one of the pancakes I made, um, because... Let's just say it's not great. It's not great. She still said yes, thank God, but it it isn't great. Let me find it. Uh... Here's my pancake on the floor. I dropped it when I was making it. But here's the uh, here's with a slight bite out of them. Take here's here's my actual pancakes. They're not great. Pancakes aren't baking, no, but they're closer to baking than cooking. Not so romantic. It's fine, I made her two more and gave her those ones, but I was gonna make her four, 
but ended up um, fucking up some of the mixture, uh, then only having enough to make three, and then dropping one on the floor. So... No. But I'm really good at cooking. My dad, my dad's a very good cook. Uh, and he makes a lot of, like, his own recipes, and I steal them. And I cook them, and I'm all right at it. I'm not quite as good as my dad, but I'm not all... I'm all yeah, my dad's, like, nearly 60 at the end of the day. He's had a long time to figure this shit out. I'm a 20-year-old guy. He's got 40 years on me, nearly. You know? At the end of the day, you can't do it. Cooking stream? Maybe one day I will make my dad's famous recipe pasta on stream. Maybe. Maybe I will. It takes a long time to make, though. Like, it, you roast... It, it's a roasted vegetables pasta sauce. It takes, like, four... You, you roast the veg for, like, 45 minutes in the oven. And you don't do anything while that's happening. You just wait for them. There's nothing you can do in the middle, you know? So, uh, I don't really know what, what I would... That, that's the problem. I don't know what I would do. Like... Like, I don't know what I'd do while the vegetables were roasting on stream. Maybe it's part of a subathon or something. I do want to do a subathon soon. I think um, once I'm done training, one, I want to do a. I think I want to do a. I, I might stream one training session before the fight, um, just for you guys to watch. I do like a big training session, like one of these weeks soon. Uh, but I want to do a subathon. But at the moment, I'm just too busy with the the fight. Uh, I you know going to the gym all the time and stuff. Like, it just keeps me way too busy with training for the boxing match and stuff. Uh, but obviously boxing matches on April 15th, buy your tickets, uh, either way, uh, you know, once the fight is done, uh, obviously then we've got the tour, and after the tour, I have my own big project that I'm working on, uh, that I don't want to leak anything of, but, you know, like, I want to try and do a subathon when I get a, a moment, it might have to be in the winter time, but I, I, you know, I do want to do a subathon at some point, um, but, you know, Leak it? No way. No way. I'm not leaking that shit for a while. It's too early development, but I'm very excited. Um, what's something I can... Oh, I can leak that me and Tobo are going to be training tomorrow, though. I'm go uh, There's um, a boxing gym that I uh, that uh, I train at that I want to take Tobo to. Uh, and I want, I'm going to teach him to box. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach Tobo. He really wants to box me, but I, if he just got in a ring with me right now, I'm just going to tell you this now, I'd beat him up. And I'm sorry... Like, uh, this is not, uh, this is not like a, I think I'm a big man. I have been training now for six months. I can, I can a little bit fight. Tubbo cannot fight even a little bit. I would just beat him up. So I'm going to try and train him a little bit. And then maybe at the end, I'll let him get in the ring with me with all he's learned. Uh, and see what happened. You know what I mean? Maybe then. Maybe then. That's, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Either way. We've gotten very distracted. These jammy dodgers are actually They look very good. Well done for making those. Yeah. I'm an okay cook, but I'm a shit shit, uh, shit baker. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh my god, I'm like actually falling asleep. Rancid. Fucking rancid. Rancid. What the fuck? Peanut butter and a gherkin. Or a pickle for Americans. A pickle. Does this does the perspective seem off? Is that a tiny bread? Is that a tiny bread? It looks like a little gherkin. Doesn't look like a big pickle. Is that is that? Tiny, like, it looks wrong. I was like, a, it, it, it's photoshopped. I think it's photoshopped. Or oh, it's got to be a tiny bread or something. That's not a whole ass pickle. It doesn't look right. Like, it doesn't look correct. Something doesn't look real. Shadowing's all wrong. Oh, it is. Oh, it is photoshopped. Someone literally just photoshopped this. I wondered why it looks so wrong. I know baby pickles exist, but do baby breads that someone can perfectly spread peanut butter upon? You know, it's photoshopped. The, the drop shadow has been applied here. You can see it, but it's not at the same angle as the shadow of the bread. Someone pointed that out. It's right. Eat like a hot dog. That is the way. I think if you were to eat this, that is the way to do it. Do you think peanut butter and pickles would clash as a flavor? 
I'm not. You know what it is though. You know what it is. Dead genuinely, that is Photoshop. But I'm thinking like flavor-wise, would those actually be that bad? I don't think that'd be awful. Like at first, I was like, ugh. But like the more I I think about it, is it that bad? Like peanut butter's kind of salty sweet. And then, like, the sort of, like, acidity, the vinegary, sort of, like, pickly taste of, like, pickles. This might actually be okay. This might be fine. This might be alright. A few people are saying they've eaten this. It's a pop popular pregnancy craving. Hmm. I actually think this might be okay, you know. I know it's a Photoshop, but I think this... I think this could be okay. You know if it was on a cracker instead of bread, though? That'd do it. Cracker would be better than bread, I think. I think I, I wouldn't want it on bread. I, I want something I could crunch. You know what I mean? Do we agree with that? Now I'm never getting pregnant now? No. Guys... If you get a pregnancy craving, you'll be craving it. So you'll want it. And it will taste good to you because that's what you want. Someone's like, oh, that sounds gross. I never want to have pregnancy cravings. It won't be gross when you're craving it because you want it. That's the whole point. You wouldn't eat it if you didn't want it. No one's forcing pregnant women to eat weird, gross things. Their body craves the nutrients and therefore they kind of get rewired to enjoy it. It's not like they're going, oh, I hate this. Oh, I'm going, and they're eating it. Well, maybe they are, to be fair, but like, I, I don't think they are. I don't know of them doing that. There's a lot of emotions in pregnancy. I can't really promise that that isn't going to happen, but you know, the baby wants it. I don't think it's quite as literal as the baby like rings a little bell inside the womb and goes, ding, ding, ding. It, it does this. It, like, there's like a little like thing inside the womb and it goes like, Oh, this, uh, uh, this really made me not care so much as, like, maybe this? Uh, mother, mother, it's me, the baby! Hello! I would really like some pickles and peanut butter. Mm, 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 that's what I want. You've got to eat it, because I know I'm inside of you, so I can't eat my own food. I've got to eat your food. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I need. Mm, mm, mm. I, I don't think it's quite... Uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't think it's quite that literal that they ring a little bell and put in, like, an order. They're like, mm, excuse me. Gluten-free? Do you have anything uh, non-dairy? Anything gluten-free? I have a baby and I order like this. Can you believe this? This is incredible. Someone said auto-tune. There's no auto-tune, but there is now, baby. I've put on a little bit of auto-tune. That's what Jaleel does. You ever seen that guy? Is that CG5? Wait, no. What was that? Um, you guys see that TikTok where it's like, the guy's like, um, uh, people say I sound like CG5. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, uh, and, and I sent him a message and he sent me a verse. And the verse goes like this. And he's like, how do other people wear but have it as people? I don't really remember the lyrics. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, that's just, you know what? S uh, CG, CG5 FNAF. Uh, CG f lyrics. What, no, Bite of 87. Yeah, where's the lyrics? <clears throat> yeah, uh, he goes like... I know who's responsible for the bite of 87. I was there all... That's not the lyrics. Surely it's not, I was, I was there all when it happened. No, really, no, really, hear me out. You've got to trust me now. Everybody's so obsessive over how and when and where it happened. Why don't you hear me? Sex! Oh my God, sex! Yes! Yes! Holy shit, thank you for sex, guys. Appreciate it. I saw it all go down in the diner of a neary town. Everybody was eating pizza. Freddy said, it's nice to meet ya. 
So trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Matt, Matt Fat and I were there messing. <laughs> Giving on the Fortnite Battle Pass. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's all I got for you. That's my that's my rendition of uh that's my rendition of uh CG5. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Be honest. No subs, please. No, we, we can have more. I right, let's hit 169 next. That's a hundred times more sex. That's not how maths works, but shh, I don't know. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you guys. I actually thought it was beautiful. I started crying real. Thank you so much. That really like That was so good. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's, let's rock the pickle now. We really got distracted a little bit. Come on now, guys. Just because you know who's responsible for the bite of 87 doesn't mean we all do. Either way, Tin Tam, thank you for the prime. Tells me, Mano, thank you for the 26 months. Uh, I was trying to cook a frozen pizza, but I didn't realize they have cardboard underneath, so I cooked it with it on. Pizza was raw underneath. Still ate it, was hungry. It's not the worst I've heard, but it's pretty bad. Uh, the pickle, it's. It, I think it's C tier. I think it's C tier. I imagine it's actually not that bad. I'm tempted to give peanut butter and pickles a try. I don't know if I need the bread, though. Again, maybe a cracker. But, like, I honestly think, you know, it's fine. It's, it looks... I, I don't think it, it tastes like shit. Like, I think all of these taste like shit. I think I could actually be okay. I think I could be okay. No more sex. No! No! <clears throat> Sorry. Either way, um, well, you know. <laughs> now, you may think I'm laughing because <laughs> these are obviously... Penis shaped chocolate breads. And they look good, by the way. They look they look very tasty. I used I used to eat chocolate bread all the time as a kid. She looks really good. And it's penis shaped, which is funny. What is really killing me though is the fucking right in the middle of the image. And I did not add this. It just says Google in like a aerial font. And it's not even like it's a watermark. It's not even like a bit transparent. It is just slap bang in the middle of the image. Google. And I don't know why. There's no explanation. I, I, maybe the person was like trying to tell me that they didn't cook this. And this is in fact from Google. And their way of doing that was to just to slap Google right in the middle. In fucking plain text. So I knew. Either way. It actually looks delicious. And also is shaped like a penis. Which is funny. It actually puts penis butter to shame. So much so I'm going to drop penis butter to A tier. Uh, because, you know, when compared to this phallic food, this takes the cake. Penis butter is nothing compared to, to, to fucking waffle butter. I mean, wa waffle, fuck. Penis. Pe penis. A, a penis. A penis. It's nothing compared to that penis. That is quite the penis. Why can't they be equal? They're not equals. I could chow down on that penis. You wouldn't catch me just chewing through butter, you know what I mean? I, uh, you know, the, the butter penis is funny. It's the beginning of something great, but but I'd chow down on that top penis right there. Easily. I'd easily, I'd happily, you know, chew on that. And and I'd happily eat and swallow the liquids from within that penis. And that's just a fact. Oh, wait. I didn't spot this. I was going to call it there, but I've got one more thing to add to the tier list. One more thing to add to the tier list. This is sick. This is actually really good. This is like... Fucking look at the technoblade cake! This is sick. That's really cool. And it's well done too. Like really well done. Like it's it's not even like you know, it's good. It it takes skill to make. It the fondant's very well done. It's it's way harder than it looks. This isn't even S tier. This is like this is this is um we 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 do this sometimes. I'm gonna do it for this one too, because I think it's worthy. I think it's very worthy. I'm gonna do it. Ooh. Okay. And then we gotta 
had a, a, a stroke. I'm going to have a stroke if this doesn't speed up. Jesus Christ. Why is that so big and yellow? Jesus. Okay. Why is that like that? Who, who used my Photoshop? Who did this? Oh my god. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. God tier. Technoblade cake. That is the best thing. That, unironically as well, actually the best thing on the tier list. Took the most skill, looks the best. There's no way of knowing whether it's a moist cake, but I don't give a fuck. It's cool as fuck. Technoblade cake wins. Every day, all day, every day. It's really pixelated now because I downscaled it, but... Techno cake's good. Techno cake's really good. That wins. And you know what? On that wholesome little note, I will see you all soon, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.